Welcome to Bruce Tracy Photography. Today we're going back after the Great Orion Nebula. One of my favorite targets, one that I've shot many times, but I want to get my absolute best shot of this ever. I'm going to shoot it in full color. Now a lot of people are shooting this in monochrome, then they add the color in later and they look unbelievably cool. But I'm just a big fan of the natural colors of these things, so I'm going to shoot it in full color, see what we come up with. Now my goal is to get about four hours tonight, and then I want to combine it with a bunch of subs that I've taken in the past, put it all together. I'm looking to get about eight to ten hours on this target total, come up with something great, come with me, we're going to head outside and see what we can get. Okay, let's head on out to the Great Orion Nebula, Messier 42. We're here in Stellarium. Let's go ahead and shoot on out to the Orion Nebula. First of all, you'll notice where it's at. You've got Betelgeuse right up here, Bellatrix, the top two stars in the Orion constellation. Rigel down here at the bottom, great star to focus in on too when you're doing your, your focus. Scythe over here. And then, of course, right here you've got the uh, Orion Belt. So keep shooting on in. We're going to shoot right up into the Orion Nebula. That's where we're headed tonight. Pretty cool target. Let's go ahead and get outside. There's our setup, shooting up at the sky. There's Sirius. It shows up on my screen pretty good. Uh, we might be able to get Orion. No, nope, just a little too dark. You can see a couple of the stars in Orion can't get the whole constellation who knows when I produce the video maybe it'll show up but we are set up and what a perfect night it is weather wise wind wise everything it's supposed to be lousy it's supposed to be super windy and they said we we're gonna get clouds they're almost always wrong when they think we're gonna get clouds because we just don't get a lot of clouds out here works out good for us astrophotographers not so good for people who want water but tonight's Orion Let's see what we can get with it. it's looking good so far yeah, you probably can't see it. Yeah, you can. There's what it looks like through the viewfinder. A second ago, you saw what it looked like when it took an exposure. Again, you don't have to polar align this mount. This is, the once again, the Panther TTS-160. And you don't have to polar align it. You just do, what I do is a three-star align. And if I do a three-star align, that just locks me in for the whole night. And this thing doesn't even move. I'm not guiding, I'm not using PHD2 or a guide scope, and at 45 seconds I don't have to. This thing just stays locked in all night long. My goal is to get about four to four and a half hours on this target. I got two hours and 20 minutes last night and they looked great. Processed it just to see what it would look like. Looked incredible. So tonight I'm going to add a couple more hours to that. My uh, ISO set at 800, 45 second subs. I took 30 dark frames last night, and I already took my light frames as well. So, I'm sorry, not my light, my flat frames. So I got all that set up tonight. It's just a matter of taking my light frames and getting as many as I can. Let me go ahead and show you what we got again. This is the first time you've seen one of my videos. I do this setup quite a bit. That's the Canon EOS R. Field flattener right there between it. And then out here, we're shooting on the... Skywatcher Spree 120 and the mount is the Panther TTS 160. Let's see if you can get the screen there. Yeah, you can. The uh, Panther screen is awesome. It's upside down there because I like the cord hanging down below it. But this is just a great mount. It does a great job of tracking even without guiding. This thing does a great job. Once you got your star line on, this thing's going to stay locked in all night long. So very impressive. We're going to go ahead and shoot tonight and then I'll show you what we got. got Okay, I'm going to make this part quick because I'm always spending so much time showing you how I process these. What I'm going to do is just take the three nights that I've captured. I've already processed them. They all look pretty good. But I'm going to bring those together. And here they are, night one, night two, and night three, all saved as TIFF files. I'm going to open those up. What I want to do is make an output. Let's call this just final. And then I always come down here and for my composition aligned stars, I always do the select best pixels, slide it to the end. We're going to go ahead and start this and save it. I'm going to show you what I've got when I've taken the three nights, put them all together here in sequitor and see what we come up with. Let's go ahead and do that. It's not going to take any time at all because it's just three images. So here we go. It is done. Let's take a look at what my final looks like here. And it's looking pretty good. 
Now what I'm going to do is take this image over into Photoshop and into Lightroom. I'm going to mess with the colors. I'm going to just adjust a few things on it. And now I'm ready to show you my final and hopefully my best Orion Nebula up to now.